Y'all, I don't know what it was about this weekend, but there was a lot of brutal death metal and tech death and slam that dropped this weekend. I listened to it all, and I'm bringing you my top favorite, not just of that genre. I'm just saying there was a lot of it this week. I'm bringing you my top five multiple genre metal albums of the week. Welcome, metalheads. I'm the host of Heavy Metal Philosophy and writer for Metal Digest, John Barbas. Make sure you stick around to the end of the episode for this week's album art of the week. It's the weekend. I'm bringing you my top five favorite metal albums. But before we jump into the top five, let's shout out a couple of the really big releases this week. First up, we got a new album from Persephone called Lingua Ignata Part 1. And this is progressive death metal. And I got to tell you, it really confused me because when I first saw it, I got excited. I was like, really? There's a new Lingua Ignata record? I thought she retired that name. I thought she was going to do something else. No, it's not her. It's a different band using that phrase to describe the album. But it's still killer. You know, progressive death metal. I love it. Check it out. There's a new record from Industrial Legends, KMFDM, called Let Go. If you're into that old school industrial, these guys aren't going to let you down. A new record dropped today from Enterprise Earth called Death, an anthology. This is Death Course. If you like growls and I love growls, you'll like this. Check it out. And lastly, before we jump into the top five, Being as an Ocean has a new album called Death Can Wait. This is alternative metal. I would call this Octane Core. If you like that, make sure you check it out. Coming in at number five, Ad Nihilum with an escape for the guilty. This is atmospheric death doom from Switzerland. And if you're into more on the proggy side, but you still want it to be brutal and evil sounding, here you go. This one's epic. There's all these really killer guitar leads that are melodic and soaring all over the place and all the other instruments are kind of magical and adventurous but then you get the ooh growls and the evil vibes i like it check it out coming in at number four we're going to keep it on this progressive streak don't worry i've got some just straight brutality coming up but we're keeping on the progressive streak for right now this is master with the forlorn half cinematic metalcore out of the uk i got my hands on this one early so y'all know what that means my written review is already published as we speak in metal digest links in the description to all my writings and in that review i said what do you get when you put really radio friendly melodic vocals over what sounds like could be a cinematic soundtrack more on the metal side and that's massive that's what you get here you get all these earworms but there's also like this vibe to it like every song is describing a scene you don't know whether you want to sing along to all the catchiness or you want to headbang or you want to daydream about the scene that's being portrayed that's pretty cool i like that check it out coming in at number three bipolar architecture with metaphysicize This is Post Metal, and it's an international band. I believe some members are from Germany, and some are from Turkey. I was really swept away with this one. Not blown away, swept away, because it's eerie sounding. It really put me in a mood. It kind of, to me, sounds like if a perfect circle was making black metal. just got really extreme and dirty with it, but they still have that haunting sort of post 90s evil metal kind of sound to it and i was just like i said carried away into another place check it out all right here comes the brutality number two necro wretch with swords of the jaw i hope i pronounced that correctly this is blackened death metal out of france really more on the blackened side than it is on the death metal side but there's some death metal in there and Once again, I got my hands on this one early. My reviews are already published in that review that I did for Metal Digest. I talked about how I think that the band, when I listen to this, it makes me think that the band knows that they've got something going on, something strong with their instrumentation. 
because yeah there's the like Tremelo picking black metal with the screeching but then right after that there's always these adventurous passages with these multiple instrumental layers that all complement each other and when they get into those grooves they ride on them they sit there they don't feel the need to be screaming all over everything they know that their music is good enough on its own and they'll just ride on that for a minute and let you feel it and then i'll scream a little bit more and then there's a whole other passage i like that plus it's heavy y'all know i like it heavy there you go check it out but hey before we do number one let me just say a couple of things to you real quick it's 2024 we had a really good year last year and this year I want to expand what I'm able to offer to you. Your boy's got four jobs, so that expansion is going to come slowly, but still, I wanna expand. So you should follow along if you love metal, because that's all we do here is talk about metal. Join the heavy metal philosophy community. We're always gonna shout out the best new metal albums that drop every weekend exclusively here on YouTube. And there's a podcast every Tuesday talking about the philosophy and the goings ons and the behind the scenes of metal that you'll want to check out. So like I said, join the community. And if you like any of these bands, hit the like button because it helps spread the message. Thank you for enduring my little spiel. Now let's do number one. Coming in at number one. And like I said at the beginning of the episode, there was a lot of brutal death metal that got dropped this weekend. A lot of tech death, a lot of slam, that sort of stuff. And I don't know why that genre dropped so many albums this weekend, but I'm bringing you my favorite out of the bunch, Product of Neglect with Synthetic Freedom, Brutal Death Metal out of Australia. And why I picked this one over all the other really killer brutal death metal that came out this week is because of how often it gave me the stank face. Because it wasn't just growls and riffs, there's a lot of grooves here. And like a lot of horror themed brutal death metal, there's those samples from horror movies that a lot of those bands do. But what I like about what this band does is they put them in there and it's like a little break before the next groove comes. It's not there just because we love horror movies, it's just a cool thing to do. It's like an interlude before the next time they twist your face up with some crazy riff and excellent drum groove and then of course the monster noise growls i mean i just i can't say enough good things about it there's a reason it's my favorite out of the bunch it's number one this week product of neglect go get it and we're not done like we always do here the best album art of the week I'm going with Crossfire Demo 2024, because look at this. When I saw that, I immediately was like, whoa, there's a dude's getting his hand cut. Somebody's cutting that dude's fingers open. Why are they doing that? What's up with that snake in the corner? And that's the job of good album art. It's gonna make you wanna listen to that album. It's all these other album covers. They look like all the other metal album covers. They don't stand out to make you wanna listen. I saw this in a record store, I'd immediately go, oh, what is that? That's what I did. That's what I did. That's why this week's album art of the week is Crossfire. And hey, I want to ask you a question. Did you catch this week's podcast where I made the argument that I think Metallica's Load and Reload is Alice in Chains' fault? They did that to Metallica. If you didn't catch that, just click right here. But most importantly, read philosophy, listen to metal. I love you. 